My name is Lorraine and I help people live with passion, purpose and positivity. Welcome to my channel and this series is called Magical LOA Tools That Work. I know they work because I've experienced them working and I'm going to have it in the, the parts in one, two and three and in the, each part there's going to be three tools to use. Now you won't resonate with all these tools but I suggest you go through all the tools, try them out, see if they work for you and at the end of the day they're only going to be magical if you believe they're going to be magical. If you think oh that's unlikely to work or you know whatever you, you know you, the idea is that you're wanting to manifest things in your life aren't you but a lot of times the tools that I'm suggesting will give you like peace of mind it will give you, you know, a stress-free life it will make you you know live in the magic of life it will be make you in the flow and a lot of times that's a lot more beneficial than getting physical things isn't it so let's get started. Number one in part one is meditation. Now I know I've talked about it many times before but I do think it's worth repeating and a lot of people I know say I can't meditate Lorraine, I have all these thoughts and you know the chatter comes in but that's normal. Everybody has it, even people that meditate still have it, you know we're all human after all. And what I suggest when you start meditating is to do it for just five minutes, just five minutes a day, every day. And I, and I suggest first thing in the morning because then that sets you up for the day. On my channel, I have got a beginner's five minute meditation and you could start with that. And just keep it simple, you know, focus on your breath or here in like the third eye chakra here in, in between your eyebrows and just focus on your breath. When thoughts come in, just watch them float by. And you might say, you know, why is this a manifesting tool? But it is because you're teaching your, your mind to not think them negative thoughts, not think them thoughts that are always in your head. It's teaching you to become calm. And it's teaching you to, you know, be mindful about your life. And, and what happens is, if you do it every day, it has a cumulative effect. What happens is, you go out into your day and because you've been doing the meditation, you, you, you've got like a calmness inside, inside you, about you, because you've been, you've been practicing, you've been practicing going inward. And when things that would normally upset you or trigger you, like your boss having a go at you or somebody cutting you up in traffic, you won't be so upset and so angry. You'll you'll just sort of like, you know, just what watch it wash over you. You won't be so reactive. And you'll have like a calmness about you and your life will flow. It's well worth cultivating. There's many um, guided meditations on YouTube but I suggest when you first start out is to do like just five minutes I mean I'll often set my alarm as soon as I wake up even while I'm still in bed and just set my alarm for five minutes or ten minutes now and set the alarm start just don't don't think, try not to think of anything, close your eyes, like I said, just concentrate on your breathing. And if the thoughts come in, don't judge them. Just watch them float by. And you'll, you'll gradually get into a state where you're not really thinking them thoughts. But it does take practice and perseverance. So it's, it's well worth it. In fact, I feel so strongly about it. Next year I'm planning to go around schools and teaching it to children. <laughs> That's my one of my goals anyway. So the second um, magical LOA tool is, and I've spoken about this before and I'll say it again, is scripting. Scripting. Now what is scripting? It could be called journal. I like to call it scripting. It's where, you, you know, I mean I quite like these big A4 um, pads because you can really, you know, get going on it and then you're in the flow. I suggest you get a, a lovely pen that writes easily and before you start scripting, intend what you're going to uh, script about. It might be an overall view of your life, it might be 
you know what what you want to happen in the next year you know your goals for the next year but you write it out as if it's a story what you do is you write it out as if it's already happened you know you you and then you get into the feeling place of it you, know, you start writing and you start, you know, you, I'll give you a little bit of an example. I love my life. I love how everything flows in my life and I manifest easily. I've got everything I want. I've got more than enough money and I love my dream home. It's got all the lovely furnishings that I like and it's got ensuite bathroom and the kitchen is beautiful with the, with the island in the middle. And I love cooking in this space and my friends and I, my family, we, we, we congregate in my lovely new kitchen, we laugh, we drink wine, we have fun, you know, and you're getting excited about it, you're getting excited about, you know, that, that goal that you want, but you're doing it now, you're in the space now. And what you find is you get so excited that you can't actually stop writing. <laughs> so yeah, just keep scripting away. And what you'll find is that, you know, you just, then what happens, you'll, you'll put your scripting pad away, right, so you, you've sent that out to the universe, you put your scripting pad away and forget about it. You put that out to the universe, it's on its way to you. Don't, don't analyse it, don't think, oh, why isn't it coming? Don't doubt it, trust the universe, that will happen but you have to believe it, you have to have the feeling of it, you have to intend it. It's like a process. There's no good writing it out like, oh, da, 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 as if it's a chore. You've got to really feel, get in that feeling place of it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So number three is the book of positive aspects. Now, this is an Abraham Hicks process and it is a very good process. And, what I suggest is you just get an ordinary pad like this and you call it your book of positive aspects and what it is is getting you into the correct feeling place let's say you're focusing on something that you know that is upsetting you you could use that it might be a person it might be a situation it could be anything or it could be a list of positive aspects in your life so let's say for example you're having trouble with your teenage daughter and she's really getting on your nerves and you know she's driving you up the wall but you love her don't you really you do love her and you just want the best for her and you don't want to feel these negative feelings about her and what you do is you get your book of positive aspects out and then you write at the top positive aspects of about Chloe <laughs> for example we call her Chloe Chloe is such a lovely girl, she's so kind and caring, she keeps her room tidy most of the time and she's also very respectful, she's doing so good at, so well at school and I'm so proud of her, she won the basketball team last week, she won in the basketball team last week and got the, got the most goals and you just write this list of all the positive aspects of your daughter and obviously when you've got a child you love them immensely and you can list them so instead of focusing it focusing on the fact that she you know was out all night the other night she didn't keep her room tidy you think you know instead of focusing on that which will bring more of that to you you focus on the positive aspects of Chloe Another example is, you know, you're not feeling satisfied in your life. You're feeling dissatisfied, nothing's going right. You know, and you keep thinking about why you're not satisfied in life. But, you know, when you come to understand the law of attraction, if you keep thinking about them things that are not happening in your life, more of it will come. So get your book of positive aspects out and think about all the positive things in your life. And I bet you can get loads of them, absolutely loads of them. I love, you know, so this is another example I'm going to give you. My, the positive aspects of my life. So this is going in general. I love my life because I've got loads of, I've uh, got a great family. I love my husband. I love my boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. I love my, my, my cousins, my, my aunts and uncles, my nana and granddad. I love the bed that I sleep in. It's, it feels so good to sleep in my bed at night and feel the warmth of my duvet covers. I love the fact I feel so positive about 
having the food in my fridge and having fresh food and being able to buy food. I love this. I love my job, even though it's not exactly what I want at the moment. There's loads of positive aspects to my job. You could list them as well. So you could go on and on and on. And, you know, if you're in any situation, whatever situation you're in, or whatever person is in your art life, there's always a positive aspect to them. And the key is to find that positive aspect. Find the positive aspect of them and more of that will be drawn to you. The things that you don't like about them or that situation won't be happening so much when you start your book of positive aspects. So I hope that helps. Uh, that's three, three of the uh, magical LOA tools that work. As I say, they only work if you believe they'll work and you get into the feeling place of them. This is the key. You've got to get into the feeling place of them. You've got to use your imagination. And, you know, it's like anything. Perseverance. Keep trying. Keep doing it over and over again and you'll get to enjoy it. You'll get to enjoy the results that these things bring you, that this beautiful life that you're creating brings you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. If you did, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. I'm going to put a list in the description below of my website that will give you some LOA tools in that website and also my Instagram page and my Facebook page. Blessings, much love and namaste.